Hey guys, welcome to my extreme clean with me. This is my real life mess. While we are in the moving process, we just have stuff everywhere. The house has been a complete disaster. So we are gonna be getting tons of decluttering and organizing done. We're gonna be going through cabinets and just throwing away as much as we possibly can because we are really trying to minimize what we have so we just have less to pack up and to take into the new place. But if this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Ashley. I am a stay at home mom to four and on my channel, I have tons of cleaning motivation as well as some motherhood and lifestyle content. And I am currently uploading every single Monday. So if that is what you're interested in, I really hope you hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. But we're hopping right into this video. I'm starting off in the kitchen. It is a little later in the evening. The kids have went down for bed. I'm in my pajamas. I love getting the house cleaned up right before bed. That way when I wake up, it's like a new fresh start. The house is clean. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of the groceries. I had did a curbside pickup this day and I just picked up the cold stuff and left a lot of the other stuff on the countertop. So we're picking that up. And then we're gonna be tackling all of the dishes because they are really starting to pile up. And I really don't like going to bed with a sink full of dishes. Of course, those days happen, but if possible, I really like to try to get at least the kitchen cleaned up. So we did have a few leftovers, so I'm picking up the leftovers. We have made lasagna this night. Adrienne, she is my eight-year-old. She has been loving helping me cook. So she actually made most of this lasagna, which she was so excited about. She kept asking everyone, how did you like the lasagna? So it was just so sweet, but we're picking up those leftovers and then we're gonna get right into all of these dishes. Even if the sky is falling down I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide to interrupt all of this cleaning motivation really quick to share with you guys my beautiful new gold necklace. If you guys see, it is stars and a moon. It is so gorgeous. It is a layered necklace, which I have always wanted a layered necklace. And you guys, this is such great quality and it really wasn't too expensive. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Hey Happiness, for sending me this beautiful necklace. And if you guys are looking for some affordable jewelry, be sure to check their shop out. They have tons of beautiful necklaces, rings, bracelets. So be sure to check them out. And I do have a discount code. So check my description. I will have all of that information linked down there. But we are gonna jump right into all of this cleaning motivation.
As I was finishing up the dishes in the kitchen, my best friend, who I don't talk to that often, she ended up calling me. And of course, I had to answer the phone because when we do talk, we talk for hours and it had been so long that I definitely did not want to miss this phone call. So I ended up talking to her until midnight this night. So I didn't finish the kitchen but we are tackling it first thing the next day. So here I am, it is the next morning and we are gonna clean the dishes from breakfast and then we're gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen. That way I could get my day started, but I really do cherish those times when I get to talk to my friends that I haven't talked to in a long time and it just feels like they never stopped calling. Like, do you have a friendship like that where you just feel like even though you haven't talked in forever, it's like you just talked the other day. That's really how it is for me and my best friend. She lives in Maryland and we haven't seen each other in quite a few years, but every time we talk, it is like we never left. So I just love relationships like that. I would love to know, do you guys have a best friend and is that how it is for y'all as well? We're fun until we hit the bottom. The lasagna sauce had dripped all over the cabinet so I wanted to zoom in so you guys could really see it because I feel like if you don't get close on it you just don't realize how dirty the kitchen really was before I started cleaning it but we definitely had lots of sauce everywhere especially because my daughter you know like I said helped make the lasagna Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. I just want to love you a little bit more. Oh. Since you guys have been following along my moving process, I wanted to do an update for you guys. So as I posted this, it is the 14th and we are supposed to be closing on both houses on the 15th. But as of right now, we actually don't know if we're going to be moving into the new house on the 15th or not. We will be finding out Monday on the 14th. So as you're watching this, we should be getting an update. But as of right now, we haven't received the appraisal for our new house. So we are waiting on that. If we don't get that before Tuesday, then we won't be able to close. So we will still have to move out of our house and have our stuff packed away. I guess we're gonna go take it to a storage and maybe have to rent an Airbnb. So say some prayers that the appraisal came through cause we are so stressed out. We don't know what we're gonna do if we don't get to close on our new house, but we're just trying to you know, not stress about it. There's nothing we can do. Just cross our fingers and pray 
everything is going to work out that the way it's supposed to work out but i just wanted to update you guys that we're moving we're definitely moving out on the 15th we just don't know where we're going to move to or if we're going to be able to go into the new house immediately so i will definitely let you guys know i am doing daily updates on my instagram so if you do want to see more of my day-to-day -day updates on the moving process or just my life in general definitely check out my instagram it is just fit busy b and went through the cabinets above the toilet that's where i have all of my wax melts my scentsies my extra curtains and stuff for the house so i went ahead packed those up we're taking down all of the decorations in here we're going to go through these cabinets down here make sure everything is out of the bathroom so this bathroom will be completely ready to go i have been trying to clean as i go that way each cabinet and stuff is ready for when we move I do plan on cleaning it thoroughly before we leave. So just having those cabinets already done is just making sure I'm a little step ahead. That way I'm not having to clean too much whenever we move out. I'll just have to focus on making sure that the tile floors are cleaned and we are hiring some um, people to do the shampooing of the carpet. So they're gonna do that, but I'm gonna do all of the other cleaning before we leave. I had one treatment left for the septic tank. You just pour this into the toilet and flush it and it's supposed to keep like the bacteria and the stink in the septic tank under control. So I just went ahead and used it since we were gonna be leaving and we won't have a septic tank in the new house. We will have a like public sewage system. So went ahead and used that up and then I need to do another good scrubbing of the toilets with that pumice stone but i'm gonna wait until like the day before that way i can make sure that the toilets are nice and clean for when we move out Someone I'm not 
Give you all my love and never mess it up. But I will be pretending. The light fixtures in the bathroom always seem to accumulate so much dust. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Windex and make sure I get them all dust free. I'm doing this in every single bathroom just to make sure they are nice and cleared off. And I'm also going to be going through the house and using my Swiffer to get all the dust off of the ceiling fans and just make sure everything is nice and dust free. I would love to know if you guys also do a really deep cleaning whenever you move out of a house and when you're moving into a new one. My husband was actually asking me the other day, like, is it required that we hire cleaners? And every time before I've always done the cleaning myself, I never wanted to leave our house, you know, a complete mess but I would do a really good deep cleaning and only hire carpet shampooers, but I'd love to know what you guys do. Our closet once again is a mess, but I'm gonna go through it. I'm probably gonna throw away majority of this stuff because the kids just don't use it and I don't know where in the world we're gonna put it at in the new house, so I'm gonna go through, throw away majority of the stuff, save the good stuff, and pack up the rest. You guys have been following me for a while then you know this closet is where we put all of the kids arts and crafts stuff and workbooks coloring books all of it goes into here but honestly I know in the new house we will not have as much closet space so I had to really get rid of as much as I possibly could of course I held on to the stuff that I know my kids use but I am really trying to minimize because I know we won't have as much storage in the new house and I'm honestly thinking that I might have to let the girls put the craft stuff in their rooms and just make them promise that they will not bring it out unless they ask me and they use it downstairs, especially any sort of paints or something that could make a mess on the carpets. But I'm honestly thinking we're going to have to store it in their closets because I don't know where else we're going to put it. So I really tried to get rid of as much as I possibly could. And now that I went through everything, we're going to go ahead and pack it up, which this is probably the hardest part for me because trying to box everything and make sure I group things together is like the most difficult thing for me. I'm so bad. I usually just want to throw everything into a box. Let me know if you guys are the same, but this time I tried to think through a lot more and put things that go together in the same box. So I actually have quite a few box throughout the house that aren't full yet. Like they're just left open and waiting for me to add more stuff into them because I didn't want to just throw a bunch of random stuff together because the last time I moved, I did that. And then when I went to unpack, I just had a huge mess. I couldn't find things. I didn't write out what was in each box so this time i'm writing the area that i know that it needs to go to in the new house and then i'm writing out exactly what i put in there being very specific that way if worst case scenario if we have to go look for something or if we're staying in an airbnb for a while at least i'll be able to find what i'm looking for because i wrote everything on the box
And now it is time to get to my least favorite chore of all, which is folding laundry. And as you guys will see, I have multiple loads that needed to get done, so it was definitely time. It seems like I always wait until I have about three loads that need to be folded, and then I'm finally like, okay, <laughs> it's time for me to fold it. Do you guys also wait, or are you really good at folding your laundry as soon as it gets done? I used to be more on top of it, but now as a family of six, I just find that I am always behind and hopefully in the new house, I can get back into a good routine, but I just feel like recently between moving and packing and just everything on my plate, laundry has been on my back burner. So give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. some action and distract him right now he's fine but lucy on the line let's get this started where's the party tonight i feel good nothing weighs me down i can't believe my love right now red eyes while he said don't you wanna have fun fool around with someone don't you wanna have fun never mind my I just got back from an HEB curbside pickup. Me and my husband are trying to get our act together. We have been eating so bad, mainly me, because I don't know what it is. I have been eating way too many of the kids' snacks, so I decided it is time to buckle down. I know we're in the middle of moving, and so we've been eating a lot of fast food, but I'm really trying to eat better, so I thought I would share with you guys my healthy HEB curbside pickup and maybe give you guys some healthy eating ideas in case you are also trying to eat a little healthier. I picked up a big bag of these organic mini carrots. The kids love carrots with ranch and hummus. So I went ahead and got a big thing, that way we could both start eating better. So I'm gonna make them eat some carrots with their lunches now. I picked up, Ethan, no sir. I picked up some organic blueberries and some blackberries. Blackberries are my favorite. And what we're gonna do with the fruit, and as you can see we got two big bags of marshmallows, is I'm gonna make fruit salad my big issue has been my sugar intake, so I'm just trying to switch over to healthier sugars. 
and I'm gonna do a fruit salad with my fruit, a little bit of marshmallows, um, some yogurt. If you guys are interested in how I make my fruit salad, let me know and I'll share that recipe. I got some canned veggies because like I said, life is crazy, so I'm trying to, you know, have the kids eat better, but still do it quickly. <laughs> so I got some green beans, some carrots, some peas and carrots. I'm gonna make some chicken enchiladas and use my high fiber tortillas. So I got some green chili enchilada sauce. We were out of ketchup, so I got some organic ketchup. This is for the kids. They ran out of their Nutella, and then they have been wanting to try marshmallow sandwiches, so I thought that might be a good combination. Nutella with some marshmallow. I got three things of bananas. One of my favorite snacks is banana and peanut butter, so lots of bananas. I got three things of bread for the kids. As you guys know, I like to keep uh, the extra bread in the freezer and just pull it out as needed. This is my first time trying this bread. I've been hearing good things about it. It is supposed to be a low carb. It only has two net carbs. Um, sweet and buttery. I saw Liza Adele likes it, so I figured I'm going to give it a try. It also has five grams of protein, which is awesome. So I'll let you guys know if it's good or not. I picked up some of these flavoring water stuff. This is strawberry watermelon. I got this one for me. And then the kids always try to steal mine. So I got them the Starburst strawberry one. I got the kids some side Velveeta uh, mac and cheese. I haven't tried the HEB protein bars before, but the macros on them were really good. So I picked up chocolate peanut butter and then double chocolate. Hopefully those are really good. I got some grapes to go in our fruit salad and of course to eat just as a snack. Got a huge thing of eggs. Picked up some more apples, we ran out. Here are some pita chips. These are actually really good garlic and herb and we got this free if we bought hummus so this was a free item. Picked up two more bags of shrimp. I really like to eat lean meat so Shrimp is one of my favorite go-tos. I picked up my husband a steak. I'm really not a big steak eater. I, I like it, I just don't prefer it, which I probably need to eat it because we just did a health check and my iron is low, so I need to start eating more red meat, but we just got one for my husband. He is trying to drink less soda, so I picked him up some sweet tea. I got some more whole milk. I've been loving this in my coffee. This is my favorite yogurt because the calories and the carbs are so much better. And the sugar, there is only eight grams of sugar and in most yogurts it's like 17, somewhere around there. There's no fat and 14 grams of protein. So I'm really trying to up my protein and lower my sugar intake. So I picked up the vanilla and a big thing and we're gonna use that for the fruit salad. And then these are like individual snacks. I love this flavor, the toasted coconut vanilla. My absolute favorite from them. I got the kids some more cookies and cream ice cream for their desserts at night. Got some broccoli florets. I love broccoli florets. So I got three bags. Picked up some salad mix. My husband said he wants to try to eat more salads and he likes the like spring mix and spinach. And he loves these baby tomatoes in there. I don't like tomatoes <laughs> that much. If they're mixed with stuff, I don't mind, but like eating them by themselves, it's not, not my favorite. <laughs> I got another thing of blackberries. I got the roasted garlic hummus. This one is one of my favorites, this one in jalapeno, but since the kids are gonna be eating it too, I just got the garlic one. Got some strawberries for our fruit salad. I got some mushrooms. I love cutting these up and putting them in my eggs. It's more filling and just adds more micronutrients in there. Of course, my favorite coffee creamer. I got some whipped cream because, you know, I have a sweet tooth and it's better to do something like this than raid the kids fruit snacks. So I, ooh. So I got some whipped cream if I wanna put that with some of my fruit. 
I got one thing of zucchini. I'm thinking about making minestrone again this week, but I have never, this zucchini is huge. I've never seen them this big. And then I also picked up an English cucumber. I love cutting this and putting my ranch um, seasoning on it. It's zero calories. It's better than dipping it into ranch. So that is a really good snack. I picked up two sweet potatoes. I got some marinara sauce. I'm gonna make lasagna this week. And we have, um, we still have those cheese sticks in the freezer. The kids love those, but we ran out of sauce. And then I picked up a huge thing of water to put in my coffee. And I also got two cases of water. And all of these groceries were $188. It is now a new day. I woke up before the kids and wanted to tackle my bedroom and bathroom. As you guys will see, it is a complete disaster. You know, life has been busy and hectic. We just sold our couch the day before. So I was just so busy running errands and stuff that I let it become a mess and it's okay. It happens. Maybe not to everybody, but to me, when I get overwhelmed, I just don't clean. <laughs> but we are gonna tackle that right now. All of the pillows from the couch, I had threw them into the bedroom and just kind of closed the door because they ended up telling me they were gonna come. And so I was trying to hurry up and make sure that the couch was nice and vacuumed. So I just threw everything into the room. And if you see on my dresser, it's actually my husband's birthday coming up. So I had his gifts and I just kind of threw them on the dresser and tried to like cover them up with my clothes and <laughs> It was just, it was just a mess. I was a hot mess, but that's okay. We're tackling it now. We're gonna get it cleaned up. Just my going on repeat You're the star of my movie But now it's done Still stuck in my seat And getting off easy Like I'm doing time yet Without parole Got me flirting with disaster But I'm all in Gotta go for gold So tell me, tell me, tell me What to do When nothing, nothing No one ever comes close to you Now that I got the countertop all cleared off, we can go ahead and wipe it down, get these cleared off, and then we are gonna be tackling my husband's shower. I just noticed that the floor was looking a little dirty. I don't know if Ethan threw toilet paper in there, but somehow there was toilet paper on the shower floor, so I just needed to scrub it really well anyways, just to get it ready for when we move. But I just can't believe that this is likely the last cleaning video in this house. So my next video, fingers crossed, it will be of me unpacking and moving into the new house. But if the appraisal doesn't go through, then it will likely be a video of me cleaning our Airbnb. So definitely make sure you have that notification bell on. This is exciting times, stressful times, but I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys. I really love this community and I love my YouTube family. I just hope you guys know how much I appreciate y'all. And I just love being able to get on here and share with you guys and just get your opinion and your thoughts on things. It just really helps me. So I hope you guys know how grateful I am for all of you. Regrets, girl, put your faith in me, even though we just met. Let's forget about our 
curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you Both speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true so good getting my bathroom all nice and clean it was such a satisfying clean with me in there because it was so dirty and so needed but the last thing I needed to do was vacuum my room I wanted to wait just because like I said it was before the kids woke up and I just didn't want Ethan to wake up until I was done so now that I'm done in here I'm gonna vacuum and be spending the rest of my day packing but this is going to be the end of all of this cleaning motivation i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really does support my channel and if you haven't yet i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my youtube family i upload every monday and i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye